Doos. Doos, doos, doos. How's it, everybody? Down at uh, one of our semi frequented zones, the boat engine, which you can see compared to the last video, is totally covered in sand. It's kind of nuts. Last time it was like almost out of the sand, so. What was that, summer? Yeah, what was that? Almost a year. I think it was last time you were here. Yeah, half a year ago? I know you had that whipping video. That was like a full year ago. Oh, okay. I don't know. It could have been like a year. But we got some dunks, got some shrimp. The low tide is at 10.30. Uh, it's like, what is it, 8.39 or something? Yeah, it's almost 9. So we're just gonna get our lines out right now, put some shrimp on them, and then hopefully catch a little food to grind. All right, almost set our dunks up. I just gotta discover what I did with my hooks. There we go. I'm gonna start smaller with the hook and then go up. Okay, this at least makes like a perfect little cutting board. All right, first one going out, let's go. Okay, there we go. Oh, totally looked like a bite right there. Man, I don't wanna bring it in. Shoot. Brah, I got jacked already. Robbed. Already? Yeah, something hit it as soon as it hit the water. Something just tapped my pole. One solid little bell ring, but I'm hoping that I didn't take my bait. I'm gonna let it cruise for a bit more. See what happens in the next couple minutes or so. All right, time to check the bait. It's time to check the hole. Oh, that I honestly like made me like, oh, oh. A little excited. Ah, oh, I lost my lead. Well, my bait was definitely gone. Okay, bigger hook it is. Oh, something like hit a rock. Ripped it off. Yeah, he dove a little rock. I'm gonna shorten up my lead line. Bait gone? Yeah. Okay, third time's the charm, right? Let's sample. Yeah, buddy. Okay, time to set the whip up. We got our first dangle of the day. Probably Jared's gonna go and I don't wanna get it. save it. Not by choice, but necessity. Yeah, that's dangled. <laughs> Oh, what a time. Is something on here? Totally got a whack. But did it hook up? Oh. Did it dive? Jerry, get mine too! Brah. Tragic. I'll reel yours in. Jared's hooking it up. He's gonna go get mine since he's already deep in the wetness. Yee! Thanks, Ba. Saved the lead. Something definitely came and cracked it. Took my uh, took my bait. Some sneaky fish out there right now. 
It's just destroying bait. Oh, it tore up my line too. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Professional salvage, line salvager. All right, I changed my lead line. Made it a little longer again, same hook. That last fish hit and then quickly dove a rock. Smart thing. Back out we go. Yeah. Got a little bit more wind coming now. Cool us off. Whoa. Oh, I got a whack right there. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Fish on, yee! Oh, a little scrapper. What we got? Is that a huggy? Oh, a little scrappy huggy, dude. Scrappy hugs. Scrappy Oh, this huggy's strong, bro. That's a hug, all right. The dozing huggy. See ya. Mr. Huggy Boy. Ah, stop flicking stuff over, bro. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Hugs. Good little scrap right there. Not exactly the fish we're looking for, though. So recover this guy. Like, oh, he's gone already. Right on. Shoots, Mr. Huggy. Well, we know what's been dangling on our bait. Huggies. That means I'm gonna lower my uh, bait closer to the sand. Yeah, typically the huggies hang out a little higher in the water column. All right, while our dunks are out, I'm gonna try a little whipping. I'm running the Runkle Anchor Box again today. Huge mahal to Runkle for sponsoring this video. Yee! Try these ones out. We got the whole spread again today, so I'm gonna start with the smaller ones. I'm gonna use this color right here. And then I may mix it up if this doesn't hook up with something to a different color, or maybe try some of these guys out. Oh, they're getting all dangly. Let's see what happens. Stalked. Yep. <laughs> oh, what? Rah, I had a little hookup right there. Shoot. Small little guy, whatever it was. What is this? <laughs> Bust my <laughs> line in half. <laughs> Dude. Ah, oh, at least I got my lead back. Hey, reset. Oh, there's some llama in there. I'm try to hook up on one of those. There's some oama over there. What? Oama, little bait fish, like perfect ones. Yeah, I'm gonna try to catch some. 
little pool of Oama right here. See if they're hungry. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a little baby moi. Never mind, I gotta put this guy back. It's a little tiny baby moi. Oh, there he goes. Shoots, that's definitely too small. Moi are really good eating, so I'm not gonna waste them on being bait. Let's see if any of those other guys are Oama though. Yeah. yeah, that's a school of moi. I'm gonna let these guys be. Shoot, I thought they were Oama too. Those all moi. Yeah, well that's good to see, little healthy moi pile. Right on. <sighs> Definitely not what I was after, but awesome to see that. Okay, going back out. Jared and I decided that if we catch another huggy, we're just gonna try katsu style it. A lot of Solomans told me good things about the katsu styled huggy, so. Seems like a fun idea to try out. Already getting little huggy bites, guaranteed. Yep, I see the little huggy nibble. The only thing with huggies is you gotta like use pliers to rip the skin off. Really? Yeah. It's really bad. It's really hard, I guess. You, you never tried one before? No, dude. It's like the thing you catch the most. Right? I guess like tons of them. Bait is gone. Let's check the dunk again. Those huggies, guaranteed. Out there hugging it. I knew there was so much hugs that a squid would have been a little better idea. Oh, already hooked up. Maybe not. Something definitely whacked it. An eye and a bird. Ah! Big mahalo to High Fish Gear who supplied us with the braid, the uh, hooks, the little axillary tackle pieces, the bell holder and the bell, hooking it up. You can still get solid 5% off of all your gear that you get there with the uh, promo code SHOCKA5. Leave a link down in the description. Anything you spend there, a little bit comes back to support the channel as well, so it's very appreciated. Thanks again, High Fish Gear, yee! Stalked. This time I'm just gonna hold the rod Wait it out, no doubt. Okay, maybe a little doubt. Oh, feel that huggy coming in. I don't know why I'm using such huge hooks for these guys. My bait's gone, I'm gonna put a tiny little hook back on. Yup, at least I got my lead back. Jacked, bro, I'm gonna put a small hook back on. Ridiculous. This area we're at, Anaiho Omalu, actually had a village here of like some thousands of people at one point. There was a few crazy battles that happened right on the other side of this area here. There's a wall, like a long wall. From what I uh, read once, there was a big battle that happened at that wall, like along the wall. I have to go do some research on it, and the next time I come, I'll give better details on exactly what happened, but... From what I remember, it was a pretty interesting piece of history, though. Big bush doesn't give much of what I'm talking about, but right on the other side of this, village used to be all along this area. Switching my hook to a smaller one here. Just snap the barb off it. 
That way, again, if I catch one of those small fish or something that I don't want to keep, I can take it off without it just getting totally shrecked. Same thing with those little moya I caught. Didn't want to keep those guys, so. Without the barb, they're going to be all right and still be able to eat. And it's not just going to be a waste to put them back. What is happening with my f***ing line? Probably the last two times I reeled in my line, it's just been super loose on my reel for some reason and all majorly dangling. Oh, the dangles are strong. Sean, send your power elsewhere. Oh, by the power of D-Dangle, I've somehow fixed that. Figure out what the heck is happening with my reel now. Oh, it's not bobbing at all. Uh-oh. Oh, that is majorly hamazen. Yeah. Shoot. Gear must have slipped out of place or something in here. Oh, bro, I like this reel too. Why? My reel is hammers. What's wrong with it? Just dropped too many times. I don't know, dude. Yeah, this thing's not going up and down. Something must have slipped. Oh, and then I dropped my drag washer right into the pan. Whoo! Well, this thing's out of commission for now. Oh, well, I guess it's gonna make for a dissection video. Just use mine. Is it all set up? I just need a hook. Freaking disaster in I here. I try bobbing. Whoo! Blowing it! All right, sampling out Jerry's pole. A last working dunkaroo. Oh, brought a Jared, bait fish brought a. What is it? Papilla. Oh, a little papilla? Yeah, I probably send them back. Take a little look though. What a nice little guy, bro. Oh, going nuts. All right, Prada. Jared's little fish of the day. We're gonna put him back. <laughs> the first papillo. The first papillo. Is that your first papillo ever? Yeah. Oh! Documented moment. Okay, I'm gonna try whipping again. Try out this little flasher right here. It's really bright out right now, clear water. So a nice little uh, metallic one might be exactly what's action. We shall see. If it's dead, you just want to send it out? Yeah. Jerry's first papillo bit the dust, unfortunately. So instead of wasting it, we're going to turn it into bait and use that for the rest of the day. Just cut them up, use some chunk, cut bait, send it on the dunk, the one dunk, and then uh, Jared's going to set a bobber up too, send it on that. Is that good enough or smaller? I cut it a little like more. Half? Yeah, half of that. Oh, I dangled again and lost my rig. Ross, this is some tragedy striking me today, dude. I'll bring in the dunk. Transferred the bell holder over to this pole. Since that other one is out of commission for now. Okay. Check the drag. Pretty good. Shoots. Oh, we're getting nibbles already. It's only been like 30 seconds. Papillo nibbles. I think it's the ravenous huggies out there or what? We'll let it cruise for a few minutes. Brought the dunk in to check out what's going on. Hook line is gone. Probably a poohy. Okay, this is gonna be the last Dunk. The last dunk he can. 
All right, this is our final dunk. Fly true. Something's biting it. Yeah. Oh, I got him. Oh, it popped off. What? Bruh. Had a little something something right there. Okay, the for real last dunk. Fly true, again. I went kind of crooked, that's all right. I'll just take that as a sign that that's where it wanted to go. All right, Jared's sending out his last one too. On my super duper extra big rod. The super deluxe Omeka rig. Undefeated. I just got a bite. Might have something hooked on there. Yep, something's on. Ah, oh, it's gone. What? It broke at the braid? Well, that one got away. Another good reason to cut your barb so that if something gets off like that, it'll be able to spit the hook on its own and it's not just gonna be Stock boys. Dang, finally getting action right when we're leaving, of course. You hooked up or stuck on a rock? I can't tell. Douche, how's it everybody? Okay. Back from the session, no grinds today, but you know, can't win every day, yeah. It's all right, I had a good fun time, caught a few fish, nothing wrong with that. Thanks for watching everyone, until next time, douche.